Today's presentation, how to triple your website profits in one week without doing anything differently. You'll just need to do three things to put it in motion. And the best part is that it will take just one hour of your time after watching this presentation. What are the requirements? Okay, three things. One, your website already gets at least a little traffic. It doesn't have to get much at all, just a little traffic, something. There are some people who come. So paid or free traffic. You might not even know if they're coming necessarily because they may not be reaching out to you, but they come, they look, maybe they go. That's the first requirement. The second one, you do business with U.S. consumers. Okay, it's a little different than business to business. Business is offering business things. This particular thing that we're doing right here is about business to U.S. consumers. Okay, now finally, you or your webmaster can add a code snippet to your site, which is the only thing you need to do. You sort of plug into our system with that code snippet, and then we take care of everything from there. So do you meet those requirements? If so, great, this will work for you. Now let's review the results you'll get. These are the results. You'll get about 10 times as many real-time leads. Okay, You'll make about three times as much profit and you won't work any harder. If that sounds like a good fit, if you meet those requirements and you like the results, stay with us until the end of this presentation. Okay, so a little bit about me, right? Who am I? I'm Dave Bennett. Hi. <laughs> uh, I've made hundreds of thousands of websites for clients. We do websites for large companies. We do websites for individuals just starting out on the internet. We do websites for everyone in between. Okay. I've got 12 years of website marketing expertise, and we know a lot. We've made systems so large that we can do hundreds of tests at once. So where the traditional company tests one thing at a time, we don't. We test hundreds of things at a time, sometimes thousands of things at a time, and we're able to get answers extremely fast as a direct result. Okay, I've created a mass optimized web page generation, often referred to as Moji. We created it, and these days you can actually find it in online dictionaries. It is the most commonly used form of that abbreviation, and it's in the dictionary now. So it's been around a long time, All right? And I work with clients of all sizes, like I said, in any industry or profession, so we can help you no matter what. If you're an MLM program owner or if you're a brick and mortar uh, company, anybody who has a presence in pretty much any industry, you know, whether you're an optometrist or a plumber or a chiropractor, whether you uh, dabble in selling um, exercise machines online or fitness programs, if you're a coach or a trainer, uh, if you have a site on Amazon, if you have a site on Shopify, there are things we can do for you. All right, so what can I do for you? I can make your website more profitable fast. So if you're ready to get started, let's do it. Okay, let's think about your website for a minute. And the idea is to think about what does it take to increase web traffic, right? So your website, first of all, gets more daily traffic than you know, right? Or than you notice. Okay, this is very important and it's often overlooked. Most people don't follow their daily stat uh, tracking. They don't really know how many visitors came to their website. They just wait to be contacted. So if you don't know how much traffic comes to your website, you, you really don't know. You hear from a guy... They call you, they email you, they buy your thing or join your newsletter. And you often think, oh, that's the only guy who came to my website today. No, there's often many, many more guys at the time who came to your website. So be aware that more people visit your site and just leave than you know. Okay. You only hear, as a matter of fact, from about 3% of your daily website visitors. Okay, That's a statistic in the industry. 97% of the people who come to your website leave. They just leave. Okay, it's a statistic in the industry. It's very common. Some of you guys have dialed in better conversion rates. Maybe you're hearing from about 4% of your visitors or maybe even five, but usually that's about it. Okay, the other 97% of your visitors leave and they don't say goodbye. <laughs> they just leave. You don't really have any sign that they came. So for every 100 people who visit your website, only three people buy anything or sign up or join your newsletter or even contact you, okay? The other 97% just leave every day. They don't tell you why. 
And of course, it's not your fault. This is true for almost every website owner out there. And you know it's true because you do the same thing yourself. You visit websites, yet often you don't buy anything and you don't sign up for anything. You just leave, right? So let's get back to your website. 97% of your visitors don't buy anything. And what if you're paying for ads to bring those visitors to your site? Let's say you're paying two bucks a click. And if you pay for 100 clicks, that means you're paying 200 bucks for just three conversions, right? You paid 200 bucks to get 100 people to your site and you heard from 3% of them. So that'd be three conversions. So your sales or your conversions, whatever they are, people join your newsletter or sign up for your thing, uh, that costs you about $66 each. Those important actions that you wanted, those conversions, cost you about $66 each in a case like this where you're paying two bucks a click. Okay, And that's the very problem. Most people leave your website without saying goodbye, and so it's totally costly, especially if you pay for ads. It cuts deep in your profits because guess what? You already have to build in $66 in marketing costs just for those three guys. It's 22 bucks per guy above whatever you would want to sell your item for. Okay, you, you just got to account for that and that's expensive. So the real winners in this are the ones who sell you the ads, right? Because they'll make money even when 97% of those visitors never contact you at all. So why does 97% leave your site every day? Well, different reasons. For some of them, it's like this. They didn't immediately see what they were looking for. How often do you come to a website, maybe you're looking for landscaping rocks for your pool and you see a landscaping website, you click on it. And I'm talking about the big rocks that somebody can deliver and set around your pool. Rocks so big people can sit on them, lean against them, right? And you wanna buy one or another maybe granite, maybe something else. And so you, you hit somebody's landscaping website and you glance it over and you don't see anything about landscaping rocks. So what do you do? You hit the back button, don't you? Because now you're gonna go to the next landscaping site down and hit that link to see if you see it, right? People don't read and read and read everything you have on your site. So if they don't see what they're looking for right away, they go. That's usually about half of those 97% that's what I mean by that 50% over there, that about half of those guys who leave left because they didn't immediately see what they were looking for. Okay. They're actually critical of your offer. A lot of us think that's why people leave our site. No, it's like 1%. <laughs> How often do you go to a website, kind of look around and leave, and usually you don't get it or do it, but were you critical of them? Like if you did not see the landscaping rocks, would you be critical of them? No, you just figure maybe they don't sell landscaping rocks. You could call them to double check, but if you didn't see it, you just kind of shrug and move on, right? How often do you look at somebody's offer and think, mm, not for me? That doesn't mean you're critical of the offer. It just means you think, not for me. <laughs> so what about this? They cannot afford your deal. Or maybe they didn't see your coupon. And you know what I mean by that. Maybe you publish a coupon on the side or say there's a special going on right now. Or uh, if they call you and you offer, then they can't buy at that level. So you offer them a drop, right? Your coupon. And so you're always trying to get them, you know, the, the makeup or the back end is that coupon option, right? Well, if they didn't see it, if they couldn't afford it, then they might just walk off because they think, eh, I don't want to spend the money or I can't. That's usually about 25% of the guys who leave your site each day, okay? Otherwise, they just got distracted by live family, noise in the background, phone, different thoughts they had. Somebody calls, somebody calls them to dinner. Uh, somebody says, hey, dad, where's my what, whatever it is, you know? Um, and so that's about a quarter of the guys, more or less, who go. And that's my point. I'm just saying... 50%, 1%, 25%, 24%. Yeah, the numbers can change a little, but I think you get the point. If they didn't see what they were looking for, if they got distracted by live family noise, if they can't afford your deal and didn't see your coupon, or if they're actually critical of your offer, which is like 1% of them, then off they go. And that's most of the people come to your website every day. Okay, so what if you could reach them again? The guys who left, those 
97% who left. What if you could reach back out and tag them again? Okay. What about like the didn't see what they were looking for group at the 50%? Well, what would you do? You would take them to the best options or personally ask them to call you so you can talk them through it, right? Consul, uh, consultation, say. All right. That way you can show them that you do have what they were looking for. Okay. If you could reach back out to them, that's how your approach would go, right? Well, you could recover like 25% of that group or more. All right. What about the guys who are actually critical of your offer? Ah, skip these guys. No need to waste your breath arguing with this 1% category. Because remember, the idea is not to work harder <laughs> and trying to talk critical guys through what you have and why it's great is going to be a very hard thing to do anyway. So let's not even bother. It's too few people to worry about. What about the guys who can't afford your deal or didn't see your coupon, right? Well, you can offer them a coupon or a discount or show them your payment plan. So you can recover a good third of that group, basically, right? Most of the guys who didn't see your coupon or it seemed a little high, if you call and you talk them through it or you offer them the drop, there's going to be a chunk of them, a percentage of them, who are going to connect with that. And you know all of these things that you see because when you do get a chance to see these groups, right, to reach back out to these guys, this is kind of how it goes, isn't it? This is normal business. Nothing's new. So what about the guys who got distracted by life, wife, kids, noise, phone, and thoughts? Invite them back, <laughs> ask how you can help, repitch your offer, etc. right? So you can recover a good 20% or more of that group, all right? So just letting you know, the guys who left, they didn't leave because they were critical. Like 1% of them was critical, 99% of them, they just didn't see what they were looking for. They got distracted or they couldn't pay the full price or weren't sure to pay the full price. So if you could reach back out to that 97% who left each day, right? Um, then you can walk through a large chunk of those guys and get a lot more sales. Okay. So the only question is, can you reach out to more of the leads who already came and left? And if so, walk them through your sales. So if you already have enough guys coming to your website to at least triple your daily sales, even if you're not communicating with enough of them yet, since you already have enough of those guys coming to your website, you don't need to pay for greater daily visitors from scratch, right? Why, if, if you're only getting 3% conversions out of 100 people who come to your site or 200 people mean six guys convert, you know, 2,000 people mean maybe 60 guys convert, why do you spend more money to get more thousands of people or hundreds of people to your website if you can actually work on maximizing the con conversations and the sales from the guys who are hitting right now, okay? So there are just three ways to maximize your current leads.